Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Sunday, July the 16th, 2023. In this video, I'm going to cover my current thoughts and expectations for the NASDAQ, the ES, uh, dollar index, and maybe crude oil uh, for the week of Sunday, July the 16th, going into July the 21st. As you know, I have a lot of work to do myself. Um, I've been making some, making some errors in my analysis, and I'm going to try and work on that. So, guys, I want to first say, as we look here on the NASDAQ weekly chart, I'm done in the business of trying to call a top. I'm done with that, guys. I don't know if that was the top or not. I really have no idea. So let's get that out of the way. The days of me trying to predict when this thing is going to stop and turn around are over. I'm, not a, I'm just not interested and I'm unable to do that. With that being said, we saw that on Friday, and Michael talked about this, that uh, we pretty much came back um, on Friday that zero... 20%. You see. Thank God it's Friday model worked out. Okay. Well, doing something wrong here. All right. See how price closed right around that um, 20%. That is the thank God it's Friday model. Um, so that is something of note. Now, on the weekly chart on the NASDAQ, if we take the last black candle as an order block and we project it, uh, we project it higher, we could see that we uh, essentially doubled the length of that black candle, right? We had a one measured move higher. Now, if the market were to continue to go up, the first thing that I would look for would be a two standard deviation move of that black candle, which would take us up to 16,223.50. Do I find that is particularly likely at this moment in time? No, I do not. But it's something to be aware of. We have moved up one measured move from last week's candle, uh, just above it actually, right? Just traded up and through it. So that is something worth noting. Other than that, guys, there's really not a whole lot of analysis that I can do here on the weekly chart other than to say uh, we do have a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency here, and we do have a bullish order block here. So I think on the weekly time frame, it would, it would seem likely to me that the NASDAQ would want to come back and trade to this uh, bullish order block. You know, that, that is something that seems um, reasonable to me. So trading back to this uh, 14,768 uh, area, the, the, the close of that candle or the open, which is uh, six, 14,677 evens, that seems like something that maybe in the next two to three weeks would be possible. We also have that order block right there. And I find it likely, I want to say that it's likely that we trade back to that Monday, the 3rd of July, so last week's black candle. The open of that candle would come in at 15,331 evens, and I would find it likely that the market would want to trade back to that order block right there. So that would be getting us back to 15,331 evens. Um, I find that to be a pretty reasonable scenario. Let's get down to the daily chart on the NASDAQ. So the daily NASDAQ. On the daily NASDAQ, we have a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. And that would come in, the top side of it would come in at the close of that candle, and that would be 15, sorry, well, really the low of that candle, 15,456 halves. And do I find that as a likely spot for price to want to come and offer sell side delivery? Well, following Michael's principles, these inefficiencies should want to be traded back into. Okay, now beyond, just on the daily chart, beyond 15,456 halves, do I have an opinion? No. Uh, but what I will say is that it would seem likely to me, using Michael's principles, that the market would at least want to come back and trade into it. How far it wants to trade into it, I don't know. But that's 237 points of movement. 
uh, just to get back to that nearest uh, buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. So essentially what I'm saying is that I think the NASDAQ is going to do something like this, right? And I, I find that to be a likely scenario. Okay, I'm just going to write that out. I find that to be a pretty reasonable scenario. Let's get down to the four hour chart. Four hour chart on the NASDAQ, we just made a bearish order block. Most conservative statement I can make is that we should move one standard deviation lower. Okay, one measured move lower, and that would take us to 15,559 three quarters. Just about the low of that candle. So you see how that comes in at 559. Uh, quarters the one standard this green candle right here that four hour candle taken lower would take us down to the low of that candle right there the one that's my cursor is on and that would take us to 15,559 three quarters I find that to be um, a very reasonable scenario for price considering that we've had no sell side delivery I would expect some sort of sell side delivery to come in um, and one standard deviation of this bearish order block you see how price traded below the open of that green candle at that point it is a bearish order block and to come down and at least offer one measured move lower so my current thinking on the nasdaq i'm not going to say that that is a high i won't do that okay because that's irresponsible for me to do that it would be irresponsible for me to tell you that that is a high a very responsible statement for me to say would be one measured move lower and the top side of this daily buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency which is also notice that is the close of that black candle down there that would be 15,454 three quarters next week I see I see those two price points as being traded to that is the most that I can say right now on the daily NASDAQ okay so that's my analysis for the NASDAQ. Overall, I think it is going to trade at least one measured move lower and potentially trade to the top side of this daily BISI. Um, I think both of those scenarios are reasonable. So I do think we are going to get some sell side delivery come in. How quickly it wants to come in, what day of the week, I can't say. Um, let's take a look at our economic calendar. We have an economic event coming out on Tuesday, July the 18th, and so I would expect Sunday and Monday's trading to be quiet ahead of the economic release. And then that's kind of like standard ICT stuff, right? So we have economic releases coming out on Tuesday and Wednesday. The building permits, I don't think, is as big of a deal as retail sales. So I expect Monday's trading including Sunday. So Sunday and Monday's trading to be pretty quiet, and then I would expect it to pick up velocity uh, after the economic releases, so Tuesday uh, Tuesday after 0730, going in for the rest of the week, that is when I would expect the price delivery to, to speed up, okay? Uh, because that's when the economic releases come out. Let's talk about the ES. So in summary on the NASDAQ, uh, I do see sell side delivery coming in, but I'm not going to call that a top. I'm not, guys, let me be very clear. I'm not calling that a top at all. Uh, if the price makes a bullish order block and wants to go take out more buy side, I'm perfectly willing to accept that and will work with that. Uh, as of right now on Sunday, I see that as a bearish order block and I see that as a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. And Michael teaches that it should trade at least to the top side of it. Okay? At least to the top side. ES. Let's get up on the ES weekly chart. Michael talked about how we just delivered this daily, uh, this weekly volume imbalance. So you can see here on the left, there's our weekly volume imbalance. We also had that real liquidity void. I recommend that you go watch his price analysis for the week. This would be a pretty, um, Let's see if that black candle, if we moved up one standard deviation, close, we're eight points off. So that black candle right there projected one times higher would take us to close out that uh, real liquidity void. And I, I think it's possible that price still might want to go and fill in that, 
that real liquidity void before turning back lower. Am I calling this a top? No, absolutely not. Daily chart, again, we have a, a volume imbalance, or sorry, not a volume imbalance. Um, we have a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency here, a BISI. And do I see it as likely that price at least trades back to the low of Thursday's candle, which is 4509 quarters? Yeah, I see that as likely. I see that as a very reasonable um, target, just the top side of that daily BISI. And then if it wants to come and fully redeliver, the high of that candle is 44.78 halves. Okay. Let's take a look and see if we moved up one standard deviation from this order block. Yeah, very again, very close, right? Very close, not quite. So my overall thinking on both the ES and the NASDAQ is right now, my thinking is that Sunday and Monday's trading should be pretty quiet. Economic releases will come out on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. That should pick up the speed of price delivery. And I'm looking for some sell side delivery this week. Okay. Beyond that, I don't know. But I think that this week on the ES and on the NASDAQ, it's pretty reasonable to expect price to come and, and give us some sell side delivery at this point. How much it wants to, to deliver to the sell side, I don't know. But it would seem like reasonable targets starting out the week. You know, let's take if that green candle were to project it lower. Um, that seems pretty reasonable to me. Also, we have this wick inefficiency down here. Price might want to trade back to the midway point of that. That's 44.58 quarters. That's down here. That would seem reasonable to me. Fully redelivering the BISI seems pretty reasonable to me. So I do think we are going to get some sell side delivery. How much? I'm not exactly sure at this point. Um, let's check out the dollar index. So Michael talked about this, right, and how price traded to it and through it. So we had this low and price traded to it and through it. Now looking on the dollar index, let's take a look at the weekly chart. It could be, could come down and fully redeliver that BISI. Okay, so 99 spot 375, that seems likely to me. Um, but I also think it's, you know, pretty reasonable for price to want to come and back trade back through the sell side liquidity, trade back up to our potentially up to our bearish order block up here. So the low side of that would be 102 spot 288 or trade to this bearish order block. And the low side of that would come in at 101 spot 280. So I think some retracement, some buy side delivery here on the dollar index coming up this week seems reasonable. Um, but that being said, we're also coming up on this bear sorter block over here. So the midway point of that would come in at 98 spot 527. So right about there. You see that orange line right there? That seems like it's, you know, reasonable. Top side of that bullish order block would come in at 98 spot 803 could also do that um, or you see that 99 spot 369 just that uh, buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency I do I think that the dollar index could definitely tag that um, obviously I think it goes without saying that we had a lot of sell side delivery last week and I think that it's reasonable for price to give us some sort of buy side delivery this week on the dollar index um, daily chart you can see that we have uh, sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. We have a volume imbalance up here, a real liquidity void actually, 101 spot 638 on the CFD, uh, another SIBI and another SIBI. So I think it's very reasonable for the dollar index to come give us some buy side delivery this week. Um, but how cleanly it wants to do that, you know, it could also, guys, just being realistic with you, you could see a lot of consolidation down here before it goes and shoots back up to the buy side. And that's also a pretty reasonable assessment as well. I think we at least tag that sell side liquidity, um, go work back up through it through the buy side, and that'd be 100 spot 820. So guys, my general feeling is that last week we had a very risk on week. And I think that this week we're going to have a little bit of a retracement, a little bit of sell side delivery, 
Um, market feels a little bit extended at this point. And so I think it's very reasonable for the NASDAQ, the ES, and the dollar index to give us some um, uh, delivery back to the sell side. Um, and I think I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Let's Well, let's take a look at crude oil. Yeah, crude oil gave us some buy side delivery last week. We traded back up through this real liquidity void, found some resistance there. Daily chart, getting a little bit of sell side delivery here on Friday. I think it's pretty reasonable for the crude oil to come back to 73 spot 77. And if it wants to go further, 71 spot 88. So, all right, guys, this has been a quick analysis of the NASDAQ, of the ES, dollar index, and like two, 20 seconds on crude oil. My overall opinion on our risk assets, meaning your stock indices, is that we should get some ES and NQ sell side delivery this week. I'm expecting a slow Monday because the calendar events come out on Tuesday and Wednesday. So ahead of that, I would expect a slow delivery. It's not, not mandatory by any means, but that's what I would expect. So probably a slow Sunday, slow Monday, and pick up speed on Tuesday and Wednesday with the economic releases. Uh, give us some sell side delivery. That's, that's my expectation this week, guys. This has been my analysis of the NQ, the ES, and the dollar index um, for the week of July 16th to July 21st. Um, may the Lord bless you. Bye-bye.